Estrogen, Wikipedia Audio Estrogen, or estrogen, is the primary female sex hormone. It is responsible for the development and regulation of the female reproductive system and secondary sex characteristics. There are three major endogenous estrogens in females that have estrogenic hormonal activity, estrone, estradiol, and estriol. The estronosteroid estradiol is the most potent and prevalent of these. Estrogens are synthesized in all vertebrates as well as some insects. Their presence in both vertebrates and insects suggests that estrogenic sex hormones have an ancient evolutionary history. The three major naturally occurring forms of estrogen in females are estrone, estradiol, and estriol. Another type of estrogen called estetrol is produced only during pregnancy. Quantitatively, estrogens circulate at lower levels than androgens in both men and women. While estrogen levels are significantly lower in males compared to females, estrogens nevertheless also have important physiological roles in males. Like all steroid hormones, estrogens readily diffuse across the cell membrane. Once inside the cell, they bind to and activate estrogen receptors which in turn modulate the expression of many genes. Additionally, Estrogens bind to and activate rapid signaling membrane estrogen receptors, such as GPER. Types and examples In addition to their role as natural hormones, estrogens are used as medications, for instance in menopausal hormone therapy and hormonal birth control. For information on estrogens as medications, see the estrogen article. The three major naturally occurring estrogens in women are estrone, estradiol, and estriol. Estradiol is the predominant estrogen during reproductive years both in terms of absolute serum levels as well as in terms of estrogenic activity. During menopause, estrone is the predominant circulating estrogen and during pregnancy estriol is the predominant circulating estrogen in terms of serum levels. Though estriol is the most plentiful of the three estrogens it is also the weakest, whereas estradiol is the strongest with a potency of approximately 80 times that of estriol. Thus, estradiol is the most important estrogen in non-pregnant females who are between the menarche and menopause stages of life. However, during pregnancy this role shifts to estriol and in postmenopausal women estrone becomes the primary form of estrogen in the body. Another type of estrogen called estetrol is produced only during pregnancy. All of the different forms of estrogen are synthesized from androgens, specifically testosterone and androstenedione, by the enzyme aromatase. Synthetic substances such as bisphenol A as well as metal estrogens, Plant products with estrogenic activity are called phytoestrogens, those produced by fungi are known as mycoestrogens. Minor endogenous estrogens, the biosyntheses of which do not involve aromatase, include 27-hydroxycholesterol, dehydroepiandrosterone, 7-oxodhea, 7-alpha-hydroxydhea. 1,6-alpha-hydroxy-DHEA, 7-beta-hydroxy-epiandrosterone, androstenedione, androstenediol, 3-alpha-androstenediol, and 3-beta-androstenediol. Some estrogen metabolites, such as the catechol estrogens 2-hydroxyestradiol, 2-hydroxyestrone, 4-hydroxyestradiol, and 4-hydroxyestrone, as well as 1,6-alpha-hydroxyestrone, are also estrogens with varying degrees of activity. The biological importance of these minor estrogens is not entirely clear. The actions of estrogen are mediated by the estrogen receptor, a dimeric nuclear protein that binds to DNA and controls gene expression. 
Like other steroid hormones, estrogen enters passively into the cell where it binds to and activates the estrogen receptor. The estrogen ER complex binds to specific DNA sequences called a hormone response element to activate the transcription of target genes. Since estrogen enters all cells, its actions are dependent on the presence of the ER in the cell. The ER is expressed in specific tissues including the ovary, uterus, and breast. The metabolic effects of estrogen in postmenopausal women has been linked to the genetic polymorphism of the ER. While estrogens are present in both men and women, they are usually present at significantly higher levels in women of reproductive age. They promote the development of female secondary sexual characteristics, such as breasts, and are also involved in the thickening of the endometrium and other aspects of regulating the menstrual cycle. In males, estrogen regulates certain functions of the reproductive system important to the maturation of sperm and may be necessary for a healthy libido. Estrogens are responsible for the development of female secondary sexual characteristics during puberty, including breast development, widening of the hips, and female fat distribution. Conversely, androgens are responsible for pubic and body hair growth, as well as acne and axillary odor. Estrogen in conjunction with growth hormone and its secretory product insulin-like growth factor 1, is critical in mediating breast development during puberty, as well as breast maturation during pregnancy in preparation of lactation and breastfeeding. Estrogen is primarily and directly responsible for inducing the ductal component of breast development, as well as for causing fat deposition and connective tissue growth. It is also indirectly involved in the lobuloalveolar component, by increasing progesterone receptor expression in the breasts and by inducing the secretion of prolactin. Allowed for by estrogen, progesterone, and prolactin work together to complete lobuloalveolar development during pregnancy. Androgens such as testosterone powerfully oppose estrogen action in the breasts such as by reducing estrogen receptor expression in them. Estrogens are responsible for maturation and maintenance of the vagina and uterus, and are also involved in ovarian function, such as maturation of ovarian follicles. In addition, estrogens play an important role in regulation of gonadotropin secretion. For these reasons, Estrogens are required for female fertility. Biological function Estrogens are involved in sex drive in both women and men. Verbal memory scores are frequently used as one measure of higher level cognition. These scores vary in direct proportion to estrogen levels throughout the menstrual cycle, pregnancy, and menopause. Furthermore, Estrogens when administered shortly after natural or surgical menopause prevents decreases in verbal memory. In contrast, estrogens have little effect on verbal memory if first administered years after menopause. Estrogens also have positive influences on other measures of cognitive function. However the effect of estrogens on cognition is not uniformly favorable and is dependent on the timing of the dose and the type of cognitive skill being measured. The protective effects of estrogens on cognition may be mediated by estrogens' anti-inflammatory effects in the brain. Studies have also shown that the metallial gene and level of estrogen mediates the efficiency of prefrontal cortex-dependent working memory tasks. Estrogen is considered to play a significant role in women's mental health. Sudden estrogen withdrawal, fluctuating estrogen, and periods of sustained estrogen low levels correlate with significant mood lowering. Clinical recovery from postpartum, perimenopause, and postmenopause depression has been shown to be effective after levels of estrogen were stabilized and slash or restored. 
Compulsions in male lab mice, such as those in obsessive compulsive disorder, may be caused by low estrogen levels. When estrogen levels were raised through the increased activity of the enzyme aromatase in male lab mice, OCD rituals were dramatically decreased. Hypothalamic protein levels in the gene COMT are enhanced by increasing estrogen levels which are believed to return mice that displayed OCD rituals to normal activity. Aromatase deficiency is ultimately suspected which is involved in the synthesis of estrogen in humans and has therapeutic implications in humans having obsessive compulsive disorder. Local application of estrogen in the rat hippocampus has been shown to inhibit the reuptake of serotonin. Contrarily, local application of estrogen has been shown to block the ability of fluvoxamine to slow serotonin clearance, suggesting that the same pathways which are involved in SSRI efficacy may also be affected by components of local estrogen signaling pathways. Studies have also found that fathers had lower levels of cortisol and testosterone but higher levels of estrogen compared to non-fathers. Overview of Actions Female Pubertal Development Estrogen may play a role in suppressing binge eating. Hormone replacement therapy using estrogen may be a possible treatment for binge eating behaviors in females. Estrogen replacement has been shown to suppress binge eating behaviors in female mice. The mechanism by which estrogen replacement inhibits binge-like eating involves the replacement of serotonin neurons. Women exhibiting binge eating behaviors are found to have increased brain uptake of neuron 5-HT, and therefore less of the neurotransmitter serotonin in the cerebrospinal fluid. Estrogen works to activate 5-HT neurons, leading to suppression of binge-like eating behaviors. Breast Development Female Reproductive System Brain and Behavior Sex Drive Cognition It is also suggested that there is an interaction between hormone levels and eating at different points in the female menstrual cycle. Research has predicted increased emotional eating during hormonal flux which is characterized by high progesterone and estradiol levels that occur during the mid-luteal phase. It is hypothesized that these changes occur due to brain changes across the menstrual cycle that are likely a genomic effect of hormones. These effects produce menstrual cycle changes, which result in hormone release leading to behavioral changes, notably binge and emotional eating. These occur especially prominently among women who are genetically vulnerable to binge eating phenotypes. Binge eating is associated with decreased estradiol and increased progesterone. Clump ETL Progesterone may moderate the effects of low estradiol, but that this may only be true in women who have had clinically diagnosed binge episodes. Dysregulated eating is more strongly associated with such ovarian hormones in women with BES than in women without BES. The implantation of 1,7-beta-estradiol pellets in ovarectomized mice significantly reduced binge eating behaviors and injections of GLP-1 in ovarectomized mice decreased binge eating behaviors. Mental Health The associations between binge eating menstrual cycle phase and ovarian hormones correlated. In rodents, estrogens play an important role in psychosexual differentiation, for example, by masculinizing territorial behavior, the same is not true in humans. In humans, the masculinizing effects of prenatal androgens on behavior appear to act exclusively through the androgen receptor. Consequently, the utility of rodent models for studying human psychosexual differentiation has been questioned. Estrogens are responsible for both the pubertal growth spurt, 
which causes an acceleration in linear growth, an epiphyseal closure, which limits height and limb length, in both females and males. In addition, estrogens are responsible for bone maturation and maintenance of bone mineral density throughout life. Due to hypoestrogenism, the risk of osteoporosis increases during menopause. Women suffer less from heart disease due to vasculoprotective action of estrogen which helps in preventing atherosclerosis. It also helps in maintaining the delicate balance between fighting infections and protecting arteries from damage thus lowering the risk of cardiovascular disease. Estrogen has anti-inflammatory properties and helps in mobilization of polymorphonuclear white blood cells or neutrophils. Estrogens are implicated in various estrogen-dependent conditions, such as ER-positive breast cancer, as well as a number of genetic conditions involving estrogen signaling or metabolism, such as estrogen insensitivity syndrome, aromatase deficiency, and aromatase excess syndrome. Estrogens, in females, are produced primarily by the ovaries, and during pregnancy, the placenta. Follicle stimulating hormone stimulates the ovarian production of estrogens by the granulosa cells of the ovarian follicles and corpora lutea. Some estrogens are also produced in smaller amounts by other tissues such as the liver, adrenal glands, and the breasts. These secondary sources of estrogens are especially important in postmenopausal women. Fat cells produce estrogen as well. Parenthood In females, synthesis of estrogen starts in theca interna cells in the ovary, by the synthesis of androstenedione from cholesterol. Androstenedione is a substance of weak androgenic activity which serves predominantly as a precursor for more potent androgens such as testosterone as well as estrogen. This compound crosses the basal membrane into the surrounding granulosa cells, where it is converted either immediately into estrone, or into testosterone and then estradiol in an additional step. The conversion of androstenedione to testosterone is catalyzed by 1,7-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase whereas the conversion of androstenedione and testosterone into estrone and estradiol respectively is catalyzed by aromatase, enzymes which are both expressed in granulosa cells. In contrast, granulosa cells lack 1,7-alpha-hydroxylase and 17,20-lyase, whereas theca cells express these enzymes and 1,7-beta-HSD but lack aromatase. Hence, both granulosa and theca cells are essential for the production of estrogen in the ovaries. Estrogen levels vary through the menstrual cycle, with levels highest near the end of the follicular phase just before ovulation. Binge eating Estrogens are plasma protein bound to albumin and slash or sex hormone binding globulin in the circulation. Estrogens are metabolized via hydroxylation by cytochrome P450 enzymes such as CYP1A1 and CYP3A4 and via conjugation by estrogen sulfatransferases and udp glucuronyl transferases. In addition, estradiol is dehydrogenated by 1,7-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase into the much less potent estrogen estrone. These reactions occur primarily in the liver, but also in other tissues. Masculinization in rodents Bone-slash-skeletal system Cardiovascular system Estrogens are excreted primarily by the kidneys as conjugates via the urine. Estrogens are used as medications mainly in hormonal contraception and hormone replacement therapy. The estrogen steroid hormones are estrinosteroids. In 1929, 
Adolf Boutinant and Edward Adalbert Doisy independently isolated and purified estrone, the first estrogen to be discovered. Then, estriol and estradiol were discovered in 1930 and 1933, respectively. Shortly following their discovery, estrogens, both natural and synthetic, were introduced for medical use. Examples include estriol glucuronide, estradiol benzoate, conjugated estrogens, diethylstilbestrol, and ethanolestradiol. Estrogen has its origins in ancient Greek. It is derived from estros, and genos. It was first published in the early 1920s and referenced as estrin. With the years, American English adapted the spelling of estrogen to fit with its phonetic pronunciation. Nevertheless, both estrogen and estrogen are used nowadays, yet some still wish to maintain its original spelling as it reflects the origin of the word. The name estrogen is derived from the Greek omicron sigma tau rho omicron, literally meaning verve or inspiration but figuratively sexual passion or desire and the suffix gen, meaning producer of. A range of synthetic and natural substances that possess estrogenic activity have been identified in the environment and are referred to xenoestrogens. Estrogens are among the wide range of endocrine disrupting compounds because they have high estrogenic potency. When an EDC makes its way into the environment, it may cause male reproductive dysfunction to wildlife. The estrogen excreted from farm animals makes its way into fresh water systems. During the germination period of reproduction the fish are exposed to low levels of estrogen which may cause reproductive dysfunction to male fish. Some hair shampoos on the market include estrogens and placental extracts, others contain phytoestrogens. In 1998, there were case reports of four prepubescent African-American girls developing breasts after exposure to these shampoos. In 1993, the FDA determined that not all over-the-counter topically applied hormone-containing drug products for human use are generally recognized as safe and effective and are misbranded. An accompanying proposed rule deals with cosmetics concluding that any use of natural estrogens in a cosmetic product makes the product an unapproved new drug and that any cosmetic using the term hormone in the text of its labeling or in its ingredient statement makes an implied drug claim, subjecting such a product to regulatory action. In addition to being considered misbranded drugs, Products claiming to contain placental extract may also be deemed to be misbranded cosmetics if the extract has been prepared from placentas from which the hormones and other biologically active substances have been removed and the extracted substance consists principally of protein. The FDA recommends that this substance be identified by a name other than placental extract and describing its composition more accurately because consumers associate the name placental extract with the therapeutic use of some biological activity. Immune System Associated Conditions Biochemistry Biosynthesis Distribution Metabolism Excretion Medical use Chemistry History Society and culture Etymology Environment Cosmetics <laughs>